guys, long time no see. I am, have a video that I made yesterday that I need to upload. It is my wrap up video, so that should be up shortly. But I thought today that I will just do a book haul because I have collectively accumulated a lot of books um, over the past couple of weeks. And uh, enough for me, really. Um, and I thought I would show them to you, so I'm just going to get straight started. Straight started. Started straight away. The first book I'm going to show you is A Day of the Triads by John Windhamham. Uh, I uh, recently watched the first Tuesday book club, I think it is. Um, on, uh, I watched it online, it's an Australian show. And they're talking about The Chrysalids, which is a book by the same author. And then my partner said, hey, um, I have a book that's by the same person, would you like to read it? So I kind of stole it off his shelf and he probably won't get it back for a while, but um, it's in pretty bad condition. He got it from someone else as well, but I thought I'd add it into the mixture because it has been transferred from his bookshelf to my bookshelf. Well, it's, still, it's still part of the whole. <laughs> okay, um, then I picked up final by Becca Fitzpatrick because I could not go any longer without picking it up. I haven't read it yet but I had to pick it up because it was it's the last book in the series so I won't read the back of it but um, just letting you guys know that I have it. And I, I went to about four stores trying to find it cheapest and I ended up um, finding it at Big W but everywhere else was uh, selling for like 20 bucks and I just could not pay 20 bucks for a um, a paperback and then I wanted the one with the, the white letter. Some of them have red um, and I really don't like that because it doesn't match with my other ones. So I finally found one with the white uh, writing. So, And I'm pretty much certain that this, I'm going to get this book to this book next year because I have other books I want to read at the end of this year so I won't be getting to this one anytime soon. Then I got Wolfpack by Melissa Dela Cruz. Uh, this is the first in a series, a spin-off series from her Blue Blood series. I'm in love with the Blue Blood series. I cannot wait until the last book comes out next year. In the meantime, I had to pick up Wolfpack. I pre-ordered it and it is actually probably going to be read in December because I really want to get to it in December. Then another book in the series, which is a theme, I guess, um, lately. I try and buy books in series, not so much um, random first books or different books like that. I have got a couple here that I'm going to show you that aren't in series, but most of these are series books. Uh, Janet Ivanovich is Wicked Business, which is book two. And I loved um, the first book, which I can't even remember its name. I always forget it. But I loved the first book I did. And I was going to get the one that was like the same size, but I came across this one, it was only $11 and I'm just like, why would I pay an extra $8 for something I can pay $11 for, just in a small size. So, And it's got the same sort of cover so I'm really happy with that. It's more of a paperback book and I really love John Ivanovich's writing and I can't wait to get this. So this is probably going to be one of the uh, first ones I read in 2013 too. And then I picked up um, this book here. It is called Night's Curse and it also includes Darkest Night by Karen Devell. It's two books in one. When I go to uh, my local sorry, my local department stores, I generally try and tend to pick up uh, Harlequin Teen books because I really enjoy Harlequin Teen books. And they're the ones that have a lot of um, lot in stock. So I really like this uh, like like the cover and I almost put it down and I decided to read the first first thing and it says sticks and stones may break my bones but I had seen them coming long before they hurt me. I would hear them too, maybe even smell them. My abilities came in handy at times. So that first little paragraph really captured my attention and I love books that come like this because I like saving money and I like buying more books for the money that I have. So it's two books, I guess it's part of a series and it's really exciting because it's quite nice. Never heard of it before though. Then I picked up Mystic City by Theo Lawrence, A City Divided, A Rebellion Ignited. I've heard 
I've heard of this book. I haven't heard anything about the book, but the cover alone is beautiful. And I only had to hear about Manhattan being underwater, and I really want to read it because I love uh, Blue Bloods, and it's set in New York too. And I just thought it's really, really cool. I really love this kind of stuff. Um, it's like dystopian, I guess. Uh, yeah, it just it really captured my attention. I, I actually waited a, a bit. I waited a couple of weeks uh, to pick it up because I thought, oh, I might, do I really want to spend money on it? I ended up spending money on it because it's so beautiful to start with. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this. Uh, it's about Aria Rose and it says, Hi, I'm Aria Rose. Fiance has promised that her, their marriage will unite two of the city's ruling dynasties. But the gaps in Arya's memory tell that this romance is in all it seems. An appearance of a hunter, a gorgeous rebel mystic, and a passionate revolutionary is to change the course of her life forever. Fantastic! Sorry, um, I'm a bit tired today. It's really hot again. Then I picked up the fourth book in the Tiger's Crest series. I haven't read any of the books in total yet, but I did start Tiger's Curse. And so far I'm up to 66 pages and I love it so far. It's quite good and really addictive reading. I love this. I love anything Indian. I'm becoming obsessed, obsessed with India so and when I saw this I'm like yeah you know I haven't read the series but I just love the covers so much. And for the covers alone I'd love to collect the series. And lastly my beautiful and wonderful friend Oni who is the book mistress on YouTube, which I'll link her down below. She sent me some Maria Viz Mother books and I'm really excited because I just finished Touch of Power and it was one of the most amazing books I have read. It's I love her writing style. It's just so enthralling, like gripping and I just love it so much. I'm really passionate about it. So uh, she sent me the first three books in the series in the Poison series. I don't think they're in order, but I'm just going to show you anyway. It's um, Poison Study, Fire Study, and Magic Study. I'm pretty sure it's Magic Study is next, but I may be wrong. But these are the covers, and I'm so excited to read them. I want to get started on them right now. I just want to spend the rest of my life reading these books. Well, not the rest of my life, but the rest of the holidays reading them. But I have other books that I really want to read too, so it's kind of like, new. So, yeah. So, that is my quick haul. I know it's not a lot of books, and I know I haven't been having a lot of hauls lately. Um, my money is very tight right now. I do have other hobbies that I spent my money on as well nowadays. Um, so, but it's really exciting to have some books to show you guys, and um, yeah. So if there's anything you want to know about those books, I'm pretty sure you can find out on Goodreads. But for now, I hope you enjoyed and check out my friend's channel because she is wonderful and I love her very much. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.